Okay, this is a week seven of a regex in the shopping cart. There already is a pre canned video here. If there's any dates on that, disregard please on week seven. Going over the ver updated version of the shopping cart. Uh, this link goes over reg regex expressions. Um, read about those and what reg regular expressions are for. Basically, just shortcut in JavaScript to uh, get the desired results for filtering and querying data. I go through the slideshow on regex. Then these are just resource links. You will be using this third one in just a second. The lab, basically, you're going to use a third one, which opens up an example for regex. Specifically, I'm looking at this example here I'm highlighting, where it tests the uppercase A through Z is what we're going to be needing. Anytime you use a regex, by the way, um, you use a regex dot test and then whatever string you're wanting to test, right parentheses and colon. So you're going to look under the regex link on number three right here. Once you do, you'll look for the text provided by that. Look for the regex under the text provided that by underscore you mean a letter A through Z. Then you may use, this is the line I'm wanting you to look at to help you out. And specifically, this regex right here that I'm highlighting. Let's go to the replit. You'll fork it and then complete the code comments. So you're going to fill in the letter range in the upper brackets, in the bracket, in between the brackets here, with what's needed to test the uppercase A through Z. An example. I gave here is if we were to test lowercase a through z, it would, it would look like this here. So this is going to test uppercase a through z. So let me throw in here lowercase a through z just to show you. And I'm going to change around this information here to match. So if it is lowercase, this is going to change to Strings first character is lowercase. Strings first character is not lowercase and it's false. So the first one is strings first character is uppercase, so it should fall into the not lowercase. Second one is lowercase, so it should run in the this is lowercase. So let's go ahead and run this and see. So it says here the first is not lowercase that's correct it's caps a b c d second first character is lowercase because it's all lowercase so i'm going to put that back the way it was so that's your lab there we go Once you're done, uh, make sure and submit the link to your replit below. Then you've got your reading on doc library and then discussion. And that's it for, uh, or I'm sorry, not your discussion, your assignment, which is the view and complete version two from the Google doc, submit it below the, the updated plumper plunker for shopping list app version two. So when you click on this, it should open up into Google Docs, going over step by step what you're going to be doing this week on version two, along with uh, telling you exactly what to do, where to put the code, what the code does. Again, the podcast goes over that the very first of the week here in the module, goes through that. So it's going to uh, be a function. You're going to add on this one to stay on track this week. It should have a function to display shopping list, a function to add new shopping list, to change shopping list, and delete a shopping list. Once you're finished, submit the plunker as always. Uh, 
to look at the source here on submitting assignments, read this, which goes over how to create a plunker chair plunker. And then there's always the solution for this, which is week seven. And this is what it looks like this week. So this was a shopping list. Then it changed item one, item two, item three, added new item four, added new item five. Then went on down and added another item, changed item six, and finally deleted an item on the end. And as always, if you hit edit on this one, it will bring you to the code base of the JS. So if you get stuck on anything, it's all, all the codes in there to help you. But don't look at that unless you need it. And then the slides are here as well from back in the assignment link. And then lastly, discussion, why is it important to use regex? And that's it for this week. Let's have a great week. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.